YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome back to the Katep campaign. That last book of Nagash we picked up too, we can um we can train another army. So spiders, tyrant peak, yeah. I guess we don't have to we can put it wherever we want. Um where do I wanna Just somewhere where we can recruit like Tomb Guard and stuff would be best. And then some, some people were saying that um, we probably need to do some public order buildings as well so we don't have to babysit anything. I agree. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, but let's go ahead and let's raise... We can recruit another lord. Hold on. First, let me... We're about to finish this Wisdom of the Third Dynasty and we can get this guy here. He gives us an extra Kimri and War Sphinx. And extra tradable units. So let's just wait till we can get him. We should have walk off as well. Let's make sure. Yeah, King Walk Off. Okay, yep, that's what we want. So, a couple turns, I'll go ahead and raise that army. This one, we're replenishing, recruiting, and um, we should be in pretty good shape. I think it's time to end a turn. I'm gonna, I know there's a whole bunch of stuff we could craft. I'm very close to having a couple of really cool things to craft. Like this thing right here that comes with the bound spell, Banishment. That's pretty sweet. Um, I just need diamonds to get that. But like when we look at the armors and stuff. Um, where was it at? Well, I still need furs. Maybe it wasn't armor. Maybe it was enchanted items. I think it was enchanted items. Like again, just diamonds basically. And we could get this here. Or uh, this one right here. Um, with just a few more jars, we could get a hold of this. He gives us regeneration and poison attack. I mean, there's some cool stuff. It was same thing on talismans. We're, we're not too far away from some of these. So we just need to keep picking up more resources. As we look around, we've got lumber. Really need gemstones. I'm trying to remember if there was somewhere with gemstones around here. furs over this way if we were trading with the Skaven, which I'm not sure if they'll ever trust me again. <laughs> oh, I betrayed him. It was hilarious. Who's got gemstones? I need someone to trade with me that's got gemstones. Because I don't see any around me. And I don't want to wait that long. Let's take a look. Hi, Queen Kalida. What do they have? Elven trinkets? Who gives a crap? I don't want your trinkets. Do not approach me with loose in But I'll trade with you. Uh, let's see. Defender of truth. Yeah, see? Exporting gemstones? We really need those gemstones. Who seeks me? How can I assist you? Tiranok and Lothern. Lord of the Phoenix Court. You called? Yeah, let's um, let's try hard to see if we can make a trade agreement. Seek? One of these. As you say. Yes! <laughs> I didn't have to try hard. Nice. All right, so we got Lothern trading with us. You call. come and join me. The Asur and the Tomb Kings have much. If you will it. There it is. Let's see if we can start scoring trade agreements with lots of these guys. If you say so. Oh yeah, we probably don't even have enough resources to actually oh, trade with all these guys, but it's it's a lot of the imported era. stuff that I want as well. Very well. I don't know what changed their mind. Is it true that nothing can live in Nehekera? Wise indeed. You what brings the kings of Wow, we just scored a ton of trade agreements. Look at this, like all of a sudden everybody's finally agreeing. I have like more trade than I did when I was the High Elves. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome. Look at this! Just like everybody and their dogs finally on board. Except for these guys. You're not cool. No one likes you. Yeah, we're not trading with vampires. I'm not that desperate. Yeah, look at that. We got our income up. There's only, uh, we just don't have a ton of trade goods. 
So that'll make that um, king that we're about to recruit even better because he gives 10% more trade goods. So, nice. Making some better money. Getting more items so we can craft more things too. So now we should be able to craft quite a few different things from our mortuary cult. I can't believe everybody just like finally started trading with me. That's awesome. Okay, that little army went past me. That's fine. They're well, it's actually not fine because they're four with me. Not fine. I'm busy recruiting with this one for another several turns. I'd have to just stop recruiting and finish these guys off, which I could do. Just kind of stinks to wait longer. But they are going to be... They're going to be getting close to my settlements. I think we can intercept them with this army. So let's try it. Have to get back here eventually to this army I think they were just settling down the public order issues we were having we could probably trade one of these for public order I don't know I really want to get this up to tier 5 though I'll put something for public order in in this settlement for now or I don't know we'll f we'll figure it out one way or the other we'll figure it out we'll figure it out See, like right here, where you know we've got stuff for public order, so that that works to our favor. Um, I've already moved those two armies to the north. I'm gonna keep that one there to continue to do a little bit of public order boosting. Uh, let's go ahead and take this to tier. Well, let's check all the other buildings first. All right, so we're seven turns waiting for that one to go to tier four. Public order solid. Wait a minute, go back here. Okay, yeah, we're good. Red Desert. Um, let's do... Where's public order bad? It's bad in Iron Peaks. So... There's nothing else for me to build here temporarily as well because, I mean, there is. Actually, there is because I want more Rishabdi. So let's do this. Let's let's upgrade one of the minor settlements so that we can put a public order focus facility there, and then we'll also still be able to build the building for more Rishabdi there. We can craft a whole lot of stuff now too, but let's let's hold off just for a minute. About to get our fourth army too. And we should be able to put some decent units in it. Still got quite a few turns away, but we'll be getting a hold of the scorpions soon. But the reason why I want to keep some of the growth buildings is because we need to get all the way up to a tier 5 settlement. That's going to give us Necro Sphinx, Chimerian War Sphinx, Arrow Titans, all that kind of stuff. That's what we need. All right. Ooh, man, we can get two more armies now, actually. And we will. And we will. Okay. So this army here... Canopic Jar Order. Uh, so now they can't get to this settlement. The only bad thing is they can get to Dracula Spire, but I believe it's walled. So they wouldn't be able to immediately take it. That means those guys can finish recruiting. Tyrant Peak. Let's go ahead and move this this army back towards Ancient City. And then let's take this uh, here. Let's recruit a lord. Uh, actually, we need to do the research. Hold on. Let's unlock this guy. 
the tap because he gives us the extra trade resources. Priest or of light. We got nets. We got the time warp. We've got our king conduit. Let's do banishment. Okay. I'm gonna be getting quite a few canopic jars every turn now, which is gonna be very, very nice. It'd be fun to go again to war against Tretch, but I kind of want to finish Nagaron first. Okay. Let's put another army in in this province here. Yeah, here we go. Got the tap. Let's go over here. He's gonna need some. Um, he's gonna need some uh, heroes to help him out. We can't get the tomb prince, but that's okay because I don't really want a tomb prince. I want a lich priest and a necrotect. So let's let's work on those. And then we can go ahead and start recruiting. Yeah, we can get quite a few more solid units now. All the way up in the Hecker Warriors. Let's go and get three of those, leave two for another army. Get two there, leave two for another army. That way we can kind of spread out the good units. Let's see what else we got available to us. Not a whole lot, really. Uh, a carrion would be helpful. Take a couple of horses. Let's go ahead and start doing the recruiting. We need, um, we definitely need more buildings. We have good infantry, like a lot of buildings for infantry. We don't have a lot of buildings. Oh, look at this. They just walked right past us. Yep. What's up? Remember me, chumps? Arise, my legions. Let's finish this army off. Yeah, these guys are going to get wrecked. Oh, man. It's been a long day. It's been a fun day for me. Got to go over to a friend's house. He's got some um, some land. I had a, uh, a scope I bought for my rifle, so I was trying to get the scope zeroed in. I had a bore laser to help me zero it in, and the laser wouldn't work. <laughs> so it ended up being a little bit more of a process than I expected. Um, but it was fun. Got it working. Had a good time. Spent some time with uh, my boy today. He was all excited. I bought him like this little scooter and put it together. I know this doesn't really mean anything to you all, but man, it was a good day. I had a good weekend. Hope you all had a good weekend too. And hopefully this is helping you continue having a good weekend. Getting some good... Tomb Kings campaign action. Uh, always like me some Tomb Kings. I was so hyped about these guys coming out, and they did not disappoint. Not to me, at least. Okay, let's just group it up like that. Start the battle, get you all some sweet close-ups. Woo, my scroll speed, it's so fast. Let's watch this uh, Casket of Souls open fire here. <laughs> Good oh crap, that's Sigor. Dat Sigor. Oh yeah, boy, he's not missing either. He's got triple gold chevrons. 
Good grief. Yeah, I've had enough of that. Let's charge that stuff down. Let's get group two, roll up, get on the Lord. Skeletal Horseman. Carrion kept these guys fixed, let my other units catch up. So this Necropolis, the Venom Knights, gonna absolutely destroy that. Let's go get that Saigor out of the fight. Okay, focus the spider. Let's focus down the enemy lord. Tear those guys up a little bit. Some of these Cygors came over here, but don't really care. Let's finish these guys up. Seems like the Necropolis Knights should be owning these guys a lot worse. Target Minotaurs there. Yeah, I'll probably lose my uh, horsemen back here. It's I just want that stupid thing to quit throwing rocks at me. Okay, my guys are getting some healing. Crap, dang it, hit that stupid hotkey that turns my sound off again. There we go. I don't know how often that thing gets in my way, but way too often, that's for sure. What the heck is that? Minotaur got through? It routed, though. Looks like we're about to chain route their entire army. Sigor is the uh, only thing left. I guess with triple gold chevrons, it doesn't want to go. Let's see if we can save my skeletal horsemen. Let's pull away so they don't get completely killed. Basically, everything in the enemy army is shattered. Let's finish off those Saigor with great weapon. Er. Yeah, Centigors, my bad. Cygors with great weapons. Okay, yeah, this Cygor is about to get destroyed. He's got the Shabti and Venom Knights all over him. Anti large from the Venom Knights. Yeah, that's going to be the end of that. So, easy enough. This army's pretty dang good. Those Venom Knights, look at that. They barely took any damage. Just laid waste to whatever they touched. These archers are really good, too. They're real expensive for multiplayer, but they're good. Looks like all we did was lose a Nehekara warrior. The Realm of Souls fills with my foes. The Realm of Souls fills with my foes. I mean, did, were you a poet and didn't know it? Really? Army's not dead yet? Yeah, submit! I got a lot of money off those guys. That was nice. Got a lot of money off that. Let's re recruit that Nehekara warrior while we wait here and let's level these guys up. So he's finished all of his jar hoarding. I think I was just working on his replenishment ability. Which is really good for the Tomb Kings, because then if you don't lose units, I mean, you can just jump right back into the fight. Replenish troops. Let's go ahead and work on replenish troops again, just to make their armies back super quick. Finished Canopic Jar Hoarder. Yeah, we're going to be up to uh, 30 jars here in no time. And that number will just keep climbing as we get more leaders and armies. And then I think uh, just for the sake of public order I may may just go ahead and start recruiting another like unit of just trash skeleton army but we'll see 90 jars we don't need to perform any of the rites right now we're one turn before we get this army ready to go again we do have some money let's see where we'd like to spend it again here is negative public order 
but we're working on a solution to that. We could build this here too, but then, I mean, it's just going to take even longer to get the surplus we need for that. Let's hold off for the moment. Negative public order here. Probably won't be for terribly long, but let's go ahead and uh, maybe put the mausoleum here. Let's just go ahead and build this up. We get 50 more income off of it and extra campaign movement range. Why not? Oh, I know why not. Because I think I want that money. Oh, never mind. We already spent the money for this turn. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go take some territory. I'm gonna put a beat down on Nagarond. So all this territory here owned by Skaven and the Lizards that is actually very... The climate is very good for us. So I'd like to take control of it at some point. Serve me. Okay, Lich Priest. I mean, heck, we've been doing a Necrotect in every army. We could still do one here, too. Let's get a Tomb Priest, or a Tomb Prince. Actually, let's put the Tomb Prince in the other army because I'm gonna make a trashier army. Fleet-footed. Is this eternal physical resistance? Gotta have the sixth book of Nagash to get that. And Lore of Light is good. Lore of Death is fun also. Let's grab that. Fleet footed strider. Let's just give him this one. There we go. Canopic Char Hoarder. And we need to go in here and do this one here. Give us an extra Necrotect. That's going to limit the amount we have to spend on buildings, but we still do have a little. Yeah, we need to save up because we need to start that Scorpion's Nest right here. So let's not spend any money because that Scorpion's Nest is very expensive. But we, we need it. And see, that's why I want to rush to Tier 5. That's why I want to keep some of these growth buildings here. Okay, let's save up some more jars so we can craft some really cool stuff in the Mortuary Cult. And then we're going to take Katep and start moving forward to capture some more territory off Magarond. Actually, that army I just moved back to Ancient City. Think about, let's swing it north. And then I'll have three different armies that we can focus against Nagaron, and we'd have two armies for kind of defense. So we'd have three attacking and two kind of just on defense. That'll work. Alright, so we can get our Necrotect. Necrotect. Serpent Carver. Oh man, that's cool. Let's take this guy. Okay, let's see. What was I gonna do? Yeah, this army. Let's actually bring it. Get back up here. This army can now start marching up to here. Let's move up here to the edge. We've only got 19 units. Let's push that unit right there. Let's round that army out. Crag off deep. More trade resources. Let's go ahead and build that up. Uh, we're going to take attrition going through here. So let's move up and go into the Entombed in the Sand. 
Okay. And we need to save our money one more time so that we can build that uh, scorpion's nest. And then I think at the ancient city, I'm going to go ahead and put another army here. Just to help with... Um, wow, that's a lot of... Melee attack for tomb scorpions. That's kind of cool, actually, right there. Let's grab this guy. And let's get him a tomb prince. Tough, aggressive, fleet-footed. There we go, and then this army, let's recruit units. Basically, right now, just start off with a bunch of skeletons. Ooh, we can get more sepulchral stalkers now, too. That's freaking awesome. So let's go in and um, start recruiting those, because they're going to take quite a while to recruit. So we got sepulchral stalkers. I forgot we can put the, uh, the tomb guard in that other army, too. We'll do that, actually. Let's see what else do I, oh let's uh let's grab the shabti for this army not really sure why but it just like jumped out of my game to the desktop made me think the game crashed but it didn't okay so we've got plenty of recruits coming on let's see uh, all we're missing is spices for that one. That's pretty cool. Takes away 30 armor and makes them more vulnerable to missiles. A 20% ward save. That is massive. But we're still saving up some uh, some jars anyway. Physical resistance 5. Let's see. Passive regenerates. That's pretty cool to have someone who's going to regenerate. That might be handy for a Necrotect or someone who seems like they're always getting the crap kicked out of them. So if they poison their enemy and then regenerated, it would make them last a whole lot longer. Let's go ahead and craft one of those and put it on one of my Necrotechs. I think that would be a good place for it. What is going on? Like I keep getting like these weird... Like it wants to tab out of the game or something. So Necrotect, Enchanted Item, then he can regenerate. Give him the... Yeah, so this will make our Necrotect a whole lot more survivable, because it seems like these guys are usually getting the crud beat out of them in combat. So, yeah. Now I won't have to worry as much about this Necrotect getting killed. So he'll poison and he'll regenerate himself. That'll be super handy. Melee defense and charge bonus for carrion. Tomb scorpions, now that would be nice. And then we've already got some sepulchral stalkers, so let's start with that. That would be good too. But we don't want to spend that money right now. Okay, saving our money on the buildings. Let's go. So we should be able to uh, take two more Dark Elf settlements at the end of this turn. Yeah, they're right in the middle of a ritual as well, and I'm going to interrupt it. So Nagaron finally confederated with the Cult of Pleasure. I didn't even know the Cult of Pleasure was still alive. But Nagaron is going to be in a rough position with the Skaven, myself. Oh, no, you don't, Chaos. These are my Dark Elves. Back off. Which pre... I mean, I'm not going to be doing any agent actions, so. Alright, what do they got? One Black Guard, Death Hag, Reaper Bolt Thrower, another Death Hag. 
Let's go. Our casket outranges them. I don't know how effective it is against a Reaper bolt thrower, but since we've got all these chevrons, it probably is pretty fairly fairly accurate. We'll see. It's not a pinpoint artillery piece to begin with. Okay. That should give me range on their bolt thrower. front our infantry line is actually pretty awesome look at the melee defense on those tomb guard yeah that is no joke folks these guys are going to be very hard for enemies to hit Shop T right behind the line. It just gives us like one, two punch. Put in a Hekara horseman over here. Sepulchral stalkers over here. I know it's not a cavalry unit, but I kind of been using them that way. They are slow. Definite downside to them. Let's get our casket of souls and let's target their bolt thrower. throwers rain in it yeah I don't think that um, my artillery is going to be best used against their bolt thrower so I'm just going to target in their infantry let's go straight after their lord but first let's have a little fun burning gaze of shem yes Spirit Leech. Okay, let's move on. Okay, gonna move forward. Uh, group this unit, kind of leave it behind. Six. All right, Katep. Let's drop that back there. Help that guy out. Let's get rid of some of these. Necrotect. Start healing the Titan. Let's use Fa's protection right here to just really buff our guys up. Verona's time warp. Give everybody more attack. Now our guys should be like doing some mega ownage over here. The level of buffs is like almost stupid. Chased all those guys down. I didn't even pay attention back here. Hopefully I didn't lose any of my archers. Back to my stalkers. Yeah, we didn't even pay attention back there. Got to put those guys on defensive. Oh yeah, we absolutely cleaned up this uh, <laughs> this dark elf army. It wasn't even close. All the buffs and spells and like magic and stuff we have available to us is just absurd. I can't believe that death hag actually came. Look, they're coming back from routing. You really think you want more, huh? Attacking, keep running stuff down. Uh, get over here on the flank if you're gonna start taking those shots. Group six out here. Okay, cleaned up all that. Turn around to take these guys. Let's clean that up. Let's actually start firing out here. 
Death Hags are gonna be down. Necrotech, let's heal up the Titan. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Dark Shards taking a shot at the last second. Yeah, look at that. Even though my Titan was right up in the middle of combat, you know, it just... Just picks up and goes on. And then my Necrotech actually gained hit points during the course of the battle. So that regeneration and ward save and all that stuff would be great for him. Because like I said, he's kind of a squishy target, really. Doesn't have very good defense. Kind of so-so armor. I mean, he is just kind of a scrawny-looking mummy, but... I think that that enchanted item that we created will work really well for him. Alright, pick up some money for the win. We're going to occupy. Alright, so we picked up another settlement. Yeah, we'll just leave that settlement like it is. Public order, money, sure. Uh, we can get the Casket of Souls now for Katep. So now we'll have two Casket of Souls in that army. Caskets of Soul. Caskets of Souls. I think that's the way we need to say it. All right, so what do, we want a, do we want a Necrosphinx? A Titan? War Sphinx? Hmm... Let's do a Necro Sphinx, because I think we already have some guys that are going to help us get extra War Sphinx. Alright, so we were successful there. Let's get up in front of Chaos and take the Krag... Hang on, Kragroth Deep. It's kind of a mouthful. Decisive victory. Occupy. Picked up a Helm of Discord. That's kind of cool. Let's check out... This guy's got here. Where is that? Oh, okay. Helm of Discord. Good. We got it on. Let's actually go in here. Enchanted items. Oh, we don't have the pottery to get that jar. That jar is a really handy item. Potion of toughness. We could give him a potion of toughness, which does some healing helps him do more damage. The jar does way more healing, but we don't have the pottery. If we wait though, we could just try and get stock. This one right here. We need 200 jars. That'd probably be a good one to get from some of these secondary lords and stuff too who aren't going to get like the legendary item like Katap has. So picked up two more settlements and we shouldn't be sitting around for long because we didn't take a whole lot of damage there. And this army keep pushing up. These guys are still recruiting. Still recruiting. It'll take a long time, but let's let them recruit. It's the only fast unit I'll have there. I don't think we need all these skeletons. Let's see, that should work. We can get a bunch of skeleton archers here, too. It's going to take a long time to recruit this army, but that's okay. We're not in any hurry with it. It's just more of a placekeeper, peacekeeper kind of army. We can start our scorpion's nest back here. Oh yeah, Scorpion's Nest it is. We do need some public order, so let's build this for the time being. I may not leave it there, but let's just make sure we solidify the public order. Okay, I got deep. Let's, we want the exotic animals, but I can't build. I have to upgrade the main chain settlement first. So let's go for more growth. And end a turn. So money is becoming much more plentiful. Armies are plentiful. I don't see a whole lot that would be able to stop us at this point. But I don't want to get too, too cocky. We haven't won yet.
these settlements that have the uh, the poor climate, I'm likely to just go up there and raise those and pick up some extra canopic jars and money. The next level attends your king. Those guys are going to probably beat me to this settlement. I don't want to let that happen, so... Let's just go ahead and besiege here. Continue siege. take attrition once we go past this point so let's move up to that point yeah there's nowhere to not take attrition through here okay deep rock gorge we're gonna need we're gonna need another kind of cavalry building but we'll need it in the main chain wouldn't hurt to have some more chariots uh, potentially uh, honestly, getting the more Nehekara Warrior and Tomb Guard. You can never have too many of those units because they make up the base of your army, really. Let's keep saving up jars. And let's see. Forward. Yeah, it's a good thing we built the public order building there. It's going to come in handy. And then we can hit the Dark Elves down here, too, so we can punch through to Nagarond and Hargraf. Um, so we'll have... We'll have three armies pushing the Dark Elves, and even one of my armies right now is probably more than they can handle. They are in a significantly weakened position. We're taking attrition here. I wouldn't have thought we would be. Did we get some kind of plague or something? Just about out of time for this episode. I think it's been fairly successful. We've captured several settlements, or will have. There's some Skaven Plague going on up here, that's for sure. What the heck do you think you're doing, Chaos? Get lost. Yeah, go up there. Take care of those red settlements that I don't care about. Lord Nehekara. Better replenish troops. Let's push up. Why is it? How are those guys not close enough to reinforce? Did I stay in Force March? No? Um, really a little bit. Maybe I'm just. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay, no units lost. Just gonna occupy. Just gonna push back this way. Yeah, we're gonna get really quick healing. Ah, sweet. More Tomb Guard available now. Soon more Ushabti. Let's go ahead and build that there. So that's going to be it for this episode. Ooh, sweet. Eyes of the Desert Sepulchral Stalkers. Now going to be available to us. We've already got two Sepulchral Stalkers going there, and we really don't have any good monstrous units or anything here, so let's put them here. So we can kind of spread out the awesomeness. Anyway, we've got more Tomb Guard and everything that we can divvy out, more Nehekara Warriors, so those, those armies down there don't have to be all Skeleton Warriors either. So we'll take that into consideration. And then we'll be ready to move against the Temple of Cain. And uh, yeah, these other settlements, there's furs. We actually need those furs. That's part of Nagarond. So yeah, we'll want those furs. And then there's marble here too. So hope you all enjoyed this episode. Air of Carthage signing out. I will see you soon.